Hello everyone and welcome back to studio session number two. Uh, as you can see, I changed some things uh, after studio session one. I probably will change some things uh, again, but I'm trying to find the, uh, the best setup for this uh, kind of uh, uh, video vlogs, artist vlogs, uh, studio sessions. Uh, but um, yeah, but I think I can uh, show you quite a bit uh, more than last time, and especially my um, palette. I have the palette. I have, don't have it in the screen now, but here you can uh, you can see it maybe in the corner of the screen. Uh, so I can show this, and uh, this is the uh, palette from Masterson Master's Touch. Uh, also the same that I uh, that uh, Lisa uses, uh, Lisa from the Lockery Fine Art, and it's a really great palette. I have a glass, a piece of glass in this palette where I put my paint on and I painted this glass grey so I can better see my colors here. But I can uh, put a lid on this and I have the lid here. I can show it to you. It's uh, Masterson. And uh, oh, I have to show it here. I don't know if you can see it. Masterson. So I can put it uh, on here if I'm uh, done painting and the next day or a few days later I can start painting again. And most of the paints will be uh, still usable because it, uh, I have here a uh, wet tissue and also I, I like to spray my paint before I put a lid on it and it uh, can stay here for days, weeks and maybe even longer. It's still usable so that's very very nice especially for acrylic paints. So as you may uh, know they dry quite quickly. So um, I'm very, ha very happy with this palette. I also bought another uh, uh, kind of this palette for my oil paints but I uh, haven't used it for my oils yet, but that's also uh, I also will do that. And I will get my uh, picture up now. As you can see, this is the Earth, and you see it on this camera. I have uh, uh, apparently three cameras rolling now, <laughs> so I have to get a little bit get used to this uh, this setup. But uh, with this camera next to me, you can see uh, the uh, the Earth. And um, today. Uh, well, I don't know uh, how far we will come because uh, time-wise, uh, but uh, I'm planning on uh, painting this uh, this earth and um, talking about uh, what I'm painting and how I do it. The last time, my first studio sessions, I had a specific uh, to a topic that I uh, uh, was talking about. For today, I'm just uh, painting and uh, explaining what I'm doing. I think it's nice to... Uh, uh, sometimes have a topic and sometimes uh, just uh, paint or draw and talk about what I'm doing. Because in my tutorials, I think I uh, I found that I most of the times I have not enough time to explain uh, the details and the techniques um, enough. I like to share more with you guys, but I don't simply don't have time because uh, these these tutorials would uh, end up being a very long time wise. So therefore, I have to speed it up and talk about a few important things. But in these uh, sessions I can uh, talk about uh, one or a few te techniques even more and I can also show them to you. I think that is uh, very nice and I hope you think it uh, also, you like it. Please let me know. But um, yeah, let's start. Before I uh, paint the subject I try to think about my approach. In this case we have a round subject. It's not perfect round, but it doesn't matter that much because I'm going to shade over it and I can make that those harsh lines um, uh, being, being softer. But it is a round, it is in, in space, so it has um, that, that floating feel. I hope I uh, pronounce it correctly. Um, but it needs that, that, uh, yeah, that floating feel. It also needs to be a round, so I, it needs to get that a, a round feel. And uh, there are certain th things to consider if you are uh, doing that. And obviously there are more ways to do it. This is just my way to do it. Uh, first is, um, like I said, it has to be uh, round. And therefore my lines will uh, get um, in different directions, in round directions here. Uh, uh, um, not uh, straight, I should say. So I will draw, draw that in. Later on I will uh, paint it in, obviously, and uh, in the end I will uh, put some shading over here. I don't think I can do that today, time-wise, once again. But um, the shadow will also give that a round feel. If it's, uh, it's um, Now it's flat. It, it, the only round thing is this, this side, but it needs to be around in, in the whole portion, of course. So, therefore, um, there are a few things uh, to consider. But first of all, I have to draw in my... Uh, 
the bits of a lamp so I will do that now and you can see the screen I'm watching the screen is horizontal, no, my, my canvas is horizontal, this is a, a, a little diagonal, diagonal. Um, my TV screen, so it's, it's not uh, straight, keep it in mind, if you are uh, drawing like I do now, uh, for animals, um, your shapes are off, because uh, the television is um, not in a straight line, as, uh, of, in the same line as your canvas. So therefore the proportions on the screen are a bit off and that can be very important if you do for example eyes because the lines, uh, because my canvas is flat, I'm drawing in a, the lines basically a, a, a bit shaped, a bit shaped too much. So keep that in mind. For this, uh, what I'm doing now, it's not that important, but like I said for other details uh, it is very important. You, If you stay drawing like this, you always be off and that's uh, very hard to... Uh, to uh, yeah, to change that while you're painting, always have a good drawing. So, um, but like I said, for this it's not uh, that important. So now I'm trying, uh, uh, starting in uh, p uh, drawing in the land on the earth. I'm just basically putting some lines so I can see where I what should go. This, uh, about here, I think. Goes right up here. I'm using just a, a regular, a regular uh, pastel uh, pencil for this because I can uh, erase it very uh, easily with my hands and that is very convenient convenient of course go here Like I said, this line is very important. It goes like this. That also gives an indication that my shape, my form is round and two-dimensional. Yeah, it's not three-dimensional, two-dimensional, if I'm correct. I always keep um, messing those two twos up, three-dimensional and two-dimensional. I don't know why, but yeah, so uh, on paintings and drawings, if I'm correct, it's two-dimensional, but yeah because otherwise it should stick out of the canvas if it's three-dimensional, if I'm correct. I'm not sure. <laughs> it doesn't matter that much for me, but yeah. And if you hear some music, I have a, a bit of music on. It's um, copyright-free music, of course, otherwise I couldn't share it here. I don't hope it uh, is too distracting uh, too much, but if it does, please let me know. But I like to have uh, some music on when I'm painting. This is not the type of music where what I'm normally listening, but um, I don't have a choice because that music is not um, copyright free, of course. So. so therefore I will stick with this music. I think this is uh, kind of nice. And like I said, I really like have some music uh, playing in the background. Not very in intense music, if I can put it like that. Music that uh, will distract you or some, uh, some kind, but uh, I, uh, yeah, like I said, I like, really like uh, listening to some music while I'm working. Um, I think this is about right. Yes, I am recording with that one. Uh, now, this is a little bit more here. This is also a very important section, what I'm drawing in now, because this is on the edge of the earth, but it needs to be there. It gives the indication that there is more land going uh, behind that line, that round line. So that also gives the indication of a uh, uh, for a volume, I think I could say, but it's a little too big. You see, it's so easy to uh, erase that because it's pastel. Can you see it? I hope you can see the lines. 
Once again, my studio lamps, it's, uh, they are so um, handy and convenient, of course, because I like to uh, paint and draw uh, in the evening most of the time, because uh, it's, it's kind of quiet here, and also I have, uh, uh, during the day, my daily uh, job, my daily uh, things to do. But filming with daylight lamps on a canvas, and especially on uh, a little um, yeah, airbrush, a little shiny paint, it's kind of hard to get it right, so therefore I, I'm not completely sure if you can see every line. I will check it later, and maybe I can uh, get it better uh, for another studio session. Because I like making these studio sessions, so I hope you like them too, because then I can make more of those, of course. But okay, so this is uh, enough for now, I'm just painting this in. Uh, no, it's not completely enough, sorry, I missed a, a piece here, I can't... This is uh, not formed very well and I don't know why I'm painting this um, area of the earth, this land uh, if I'm correct this is America it's just what I found on the internet this is a, a copyright free photo and I'm just uh, wanted to have a picture of um, the earth I'm personally maybe you know you know it but I'm from the Netherlands but I don't need to paint in the Netherlands because I'm from the Netherlands. It doesn't matter to me. I just wanted a nice picture of Mother Earth. So therefore I chose this one. Some people, I know some people, and there were some people who asked me because I did it before and apparently I did have uh, America, or the side of America of, on the Earth uh, back then also. And people, uh, some people were asking me, why do you have America? You're from the Holland, from the Netherlands. Yeah, so why? I, I don't know why it matters to some people, but yeah. I think uh, we all are teeny tiny parts of the of Mother Earth and I like uh, her. And not a one area particularly, but uh, the complete Earth, of course. So therefore, it doesn't matter too much, uh, so much to me. I think this is enough for now. I have a uh, nice quite uh, of lines. So I can start now, the, uh, we have ov obviously a land and we have a water and we have a lot of clouds, but those clouds uh, are, are basically laying on top of the earth, so therefore I'm not painting in clouds now, I just want to have the, uh, the base here and there's a lot of detail going on in the land and also in the sea, so therefore I start uh, painting with those. Uh, I, let me quick check if I have everything yes you can see my uh, my palette still and I have to switch between Photoshop and uh, my palette so therefore I, uh, that is what I just did I uh, grab my uh, paints this is not handy I'm sorry I have to switch again because I cannot see yeah the basics this is just a little um, container I think you uh, call them normally I ha have these big ones but these paints I uh, use quite a lot. These paints, not as much. I have a bigger a yellow container. I like to use every paint and watching that camera. I need to watch the, that camera. But um, I like to use um, what I have. Uh, it's just a waste to throw these away, right? So therefore, uh, I mean, I like to use them. I just uh, did grab a yellow. Didn't watch the name of it, but it's the Catman Yellow Medium Medium Hue. So uh, I try uh, using that. It didn't matter that much to me, I just needed a yellow. Oh, and I normally, I'm, most of the times, I just don't remember the color, the names of the colors because it, those are that important of me, for me. But um, a raw sienna, I see it here, and a uh, burnt sienna. Yeah, maybe I will grab a, a few other ones. I just uh, start mixing my colors with these paints and we'll see where we get and I don't have a uh, uh, specific order to put in my, my paints on the palette I just put them there but most of the times I have my titanium white here and my Mars black there the rest is just uh, switching up while I'm painting just the matters on which paint I need for which uh, painting some people have a complete palette uh, they have even uh, write down names of the, the paints. I think it's very uh, nice looking, but I never did that, and this works for me. So I switch back to my um, photo, 
and I'm going to start layering in my first layers of paint. Um, I'm not going to be that precise with my uh, colors yet, it doesn't matter that much. I'm just trying to mix a uh, mid tone green, as you could say, maybe, and see what the yellow does. Oh, this is not. Um, this is a little bit too light, so I grab a little bit of the Avery Black, just to tone it down. Oh, I can also use a bit of Mars Black, why I switched. No, I, I did it because um, the Avery Black is translucent and I, I can use a uh, transparent black because I have to paint over that grey. A little too much, a little too much. Matter that much because I need the yeah, ass. This is better. That is what I wanted. I have a very similar paint uh, in uh, over there, but I just mixed it. That's also doesn't matter that much. So we start in painting. I just filling in uh, pieces of on my canvas. I'm not watching uh, the details. I just want a nice on the layer to paint in the land, and I have to see. Yes, it goes all the way to the edge, at least I do that. In my uh, picture, my uh, re reference picture, it, there is a kind of a halo around the earth, a blue halo. Uh, it, it doesn't fit for this painting, if you ask me. I don't want it, so I don't paint it in. That's the nice thing of painting, because you can change that, if you like. I do like it. I like, sometimes, especially for these kinds of paintings, halo or halo effects, but uh, it's not suitable for this painting, it's not what I had uh, in mind, so therefore I don't paint a halo, but halos can be fun, give a nice, uh, uh, how should we call it, a nice, uh, sometimes a nice effect, I'm, I'm looking for a word, I can't remember at the moment, Fairy tale it gives a nice fairy tale feeling to it. Can give a fairy tale feeling if you ask me to at least. Sometimes, most of the times, I like that. But it will draw too much attention to the earth. And I have, uh, as you may know, a um, also another main subject that is the sperm whale, which I uh, painted um, parts on in studio session number one. And uh, so, so I don't want to draw too much attention to the earth. It needs to be there, but the main attention, the main uh, focus for the viewer has to be on the uh, s sperm whale. So therefore I uh, I think I'm going to end up to um, darken this up uh, quite a bit with shadows. So it is there, but like once again, like I said, it doesn't need all the attention. It's just not the main subject. It's the second main subject, if that does make sense. <laughs> so, as you, as you can see, I'm not very, very precisely. I try to um, paint in some details, like here there's a little bit of land sticking out, sort of. So I'm painting that in. It's also a little bit rounder here. So I'm changing that as well. Maybe I will change up a little bit more later on, but I think I'm quite close. There's a little bit of water between those, and I have no idea which lands that are. That's not my uh, best subject to talk about. <laughs> This should do it for now. Uh, it's not going. Uh, yeah, I have to change this a little bit. It's going. It has a little bit more this kind of shape. It's taking a little bit longer. And also, if you have uh, any subjects for me to talk about or. Uh, maybe some techniques that you uh, saw, for example, on my channel. Uh, 
you want to know more about it, leave those in the comment section below. But maybe I can uh, use it for another studio session. And I would really like that. So if you have some suggestions, um, like I said, please let me know. Uh, this is not good. It was a little bit dry paint. From yesterday, painting session. That is better. Oh, I, I don't even remember which kind of blue I have. A little bit too much on that end. So. This is part of the ocean, of course. I don't want to paint over the background, so I have to be kind of careful. And yes, of course, when you start talking about it, you do it. <laughs> but when it's wet, you can uh, easily wipe it off with your, uh, with your fingers. Maybe I can use a different brush for that because those areas are a little bit bigger. kind of all kinds of different brushes most of them are not that expensive like this one it's a very cheap brush but it does a does the trick and um, if I can save some money of course you do that so therefore I like to use these kind of brushes and if you clean them uh, quite well they, they you can use them for quite a, some time I had some uh, more expensive um, brushes, especially when I took uh, five five painting lessons before I uh, start following um, some artists on YouTube. But uh, for that lessons, we had needed more the, the more expensive brushes, and um, so I bought them. But I did f forget to um, clean them. So they get really hard and uh, basically unusable. So I had to throw them away, and that's when I started using cheaper paint because I, I keep forgetting washing them, even though they are laying here. And I try to uh, separate them from the rest if I use them. So I know after a painting session I have to uh, clean them with water and soap, and I do that. But sometimes I just forget one brush. And sometimes you, they are usable. Most of the times so there was so many paint in it, I cannot uh, clean them very well. This is uh, a mop brush. The mop brush I only use to get rid of my brush strokes, like making this kind of uh, motions with a brush. So therefore I have these kinds. You see me use them quite a lot. Actually this, these are uh, makeup brushes, but they work uh, better. Because the actual mop brushes, oh, I ch sorry, I have to check, did I uh, move you too much? No. Uh, the actual uh, mop brushes are shading like crazy. And so therefore I, I use makeup brushes. And actually when I started painting, a friend of mine suggested using uh, makeup brushes. 
because uh, as I said those are quite uh, a lot cheaper and maybe they will work as well so I did it and apparently they work they work very great you barely lose their hairs the other ones the um, the mop the Exxon mop brushes do shade like crazy most of them maybe you have a brand that doesn't uh, shed as much I hope I pronounced it correctly but um, shade shade as much but if you have, please let me know. I, I really cannot find a uh, a very useful one in that in that uh, in that way. They 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 keep shading like uh, shading like crazy. So keep this brush separately from the rest, so I know I need to clean that later on. This is a little bit bigger, and then that is a little bit useful. Uh, a bit handier for the other parts. This is the uh, part with the marsh black. It's very, very opaque. So I, I mixed in a little bit too much. That's not a problem because these are the other layers. And I like to have some texture in the water there. So, and the texture by texture, in this case, I mean uh, different light and dark sections of the water. So therefore, it's not uh, bad. But yeah, keep it in mind if you mix some colors like the Mars Black, it's very, uh, very opaque. So, uh, you if you don't do uh, what uh, you don't um, notice that or you don't know it, you may end up keeping and mixing in a lot of paint, which uh, kind of um, is not so useful, of course. The paint is, uh, is expensive, expensive enough, and also, uh, e even though this is a uh, um, Reigns as a studio brand. I've, I, I found still kind of uh, expensive, if you ask me. Not in comparison to the other paints who are even more expensive. I will uh, grab another one. But yeah, I like to have quite a, quite a lot of colors, so therefore I uh, need to buy quite a lot of uh, uh, different paints, obviously. Now, this is an example, I didn't clean this. Can throw that away. <laughs> keep getting those. And I'll keep um, with my foot. Uh, this table is on wheels. So if I bump into it, yeah, you can see everything still. I have the tendency to bump with my knee to, uh, to the table. So therefore, it keeps uh, rolling. Uh, rolling back and that's not good in this case because of the cameras but I think you can see everything then. still so let's try to speed this up a little bit but then painting wise <laughs> all with the tutorials I, I really love making them but there are always hours of painting and filming uh, painting me sitting in front of the canvas of course in front of the easel but yeah, sometimes it's kind of a, a ways to put it uh, all that footage away. I, I keep saving it, the most of it, for you, you never know. I don't have a Patreon uh, channel or something like that. But yeah, there's so much, uh, there's so much to talk about. So therefore, I thought it would be nice to start these uh, studio sessions. And uh, so I can uh, at least share more uh, with you guys. And don't uh, throw every, every nice, quite some information away, of course. But yeah. We are not. And this is not looking good. Right? It's just, if we were back in kindergarten, <laughs> that level. Nothing wrong with it, but it's not what I uh, would end up, uh, of course. It's nothing, uh, like I said, nothing wrong with that, but yeah, it's not what I uh, try to uh, accomplish. That's just the first layer, nothing more. Just the indication where things should go, it, it really is nothing more than that. So I have to uh, paint quite a while to get it in, so therefore I cannot show you uh, 
everything in this in this uh, studio session because it it's, uh, will uh, take just too many time. That was my phone. Um, yeah, some details, a little bit of, of texture in uh, on the land. So let's start make some texture there. Uh, and just dipping my brush on the canvas, like I said, just to give it a, to get that texture. It's a little bit uh, loosen, so I'm going to lighten that up with titanium, uh, titanium white. <laughs> that was it. To get it a little bit more opaque. If this shows up better, yes, it does. And if it's too light, it doesn't matter, I can change it uh, very easily later on. But like I said, it's all about the, the texture, and it's kind of nice to show this because, like I said earlier on, this is uh, this level of painting is not, uh, not as high yet. <laughs> I hope that will come, of course. I'll try my best. But um, yeah, this is how uh, how I built up my uh, my paintings basically. And also, uh, uh, as you as you uh, probably know, I like to um, use my pastels. I use them quite quite a lot when I start uh, making more and more art. I I actually started with pastels when I was uh, getting into art. I could say. Uh, I didn't use pastel that much over a few months now because I had a lot of paintings to do. But I think my next project will be uh, in pastels. I'm I'm really planning on that. Can't change because I don't know what will happen in the meantime in my art uh, art life because <laughs> so I I sometimes change it because I have. Um, Another image is in my an image in my head, something that I just want to paint and I need to paint. So I then I change my uh, my mind. But um, yeah, the next one I, I most certainly want to make. So it should be in the near future. Uh, I will um, grab my pastels again. Because pastels is also a such a wonderful, nice medium to work with. Like I said, it was my. Um, when I started uh, paint, uh, making art, I was uh, really, uh, really uh, loving working with pastels. And that started me uh, with making art. I think if you are starting with art and you don't mind getting your hands a little bit uh, dirty, but because the pastel will stick on your hands, in my case, <laughs> and maybe uh, not for everyone, but in my case, I like to use my hands all over the place, so I can keep up with uh, pastels uh, on my hand here because I have that hand resting on my uh, my paper and all that kind of stuff. If you don't mind that, pastel is very, very, very nice to start with. It's it's just a nice medium to work with. It's just not the most a difficult medium to to use. In, for most for most people obviously it's it's very personal uh, also but for me it was uh, not hard it wasn't easy uh, uh, also because I had a lot to learn to learn about shading and that kind of stuff and how to use colors and all that uh, that stuff like I said but um, that basically had did, had nothing to do with the uh, medium itself. I just needed more experience how to use different uh, kind of paints, uh, colors. I'm sorry. And uh, but obviously pastel does have uh, does uh, require uh, require a little bit of different approach to mix your colors because you most yeah you have to most of the time you have to mix them on uh, on your paper. 
and that is something new. But I, in my case, I had to uh, get uh, get used to that. So therefore, uh, that can be a little bit hard in the beginning. But like I said, you will get used to it, and the more you do it, the, the easier it will get. Obviously, you can barely see this, but it's changed a little bit of that color, which I like. So, yeah, it's a little bit of land. I like to switch between the subjects. Now I painted a little bit of land. I will now go back to the, uh, to the water sections. Uh, which brush? When it dries, it's a little bit, um, well, it, it is plastic, but uh, it's dry, so I can uh, easily uh, remove that. And in some cases, I only, um, I didn't see it, and I put the paint on the canvas, and you have those little pieces uh, on your canvas. You can grab them off quite easily, but you, it's also uh, a little bit of getting used to. Now, I, I see it right, most of the time right away, so I can adjust it. Uh, Quickly and get uh, grab some uh, some better paint, but uh, yeah, it doesn't matter that much. I really want to start on lighting this up. Yeah, the paint wasn't dry yet. I like to keep my hand resting on the canvas, and sometimes I have my hand on still wet paint, of course. Uh, And now I it's a little too wet. I will show you in a minute which brush I'm using for this. I'm just picking up some paint on the edges of the uh, basically the brush strokes that I made. Just to uh, get rid of those hard hard edges of the uh, the paint that I put on. Um, I can show it the best on this camera, I think. It's a very cheap brush. Th these tips are very uh, kind of stiff, and that helps to uh, move the paint around. Just on a canvas, I can move it around. Sometimes, if it doesn't work um, as well, I just uh, have to need uh, put a little bit of water on there, and then uh, I can move the paint more than uh, with a uh, this kind of brush, so therefore I like to use those stiff brushes that I showed you. It's very nice to uh, get in some effects. And once again, I'm just making the texture, and it already is a little bit changing, if you ask me. It's not, not, not I'm saying that I'm liking it at this moment, but it, it's starting to getting somewhere, and that is uh, everything I can say about this in this stage. But it's it's I'm really we are building up something, but uh, yeah, oh, looks bad. Um, yeah, I'm just I do this for sometimes obviously for hours, just working and working and working and working on those textures, on those details. And it basically comes uh, to the point that you, uh, I stop working on it just uh, until I like it. I don't know, like uh, when I started this uh, studio session, I didn't know how long this would take me. So I just started painting and yeah, obviously uh, it, it takes some time. So I uh, will definitely, uh, of course, show the tutorial. And I think I'm going to do another studio session where you can see a little bit more uh, progress, uh, hopefully a lot more. And maybe it's nicer to uh, paint clouds on this, for example. Uh, if you like that, uh, uh, let me know, because we can paint those clouds in, in, in a studio session. Yeah, I'm really taking my time, even though I want to... Uh, really would like to show a little bit more progress in this studio session, but it's just it's not how it works. It needs its time, and I always take, try to take the time. 
and I talk about it quite a lot in my tutorials because it's very important. You see those little bits of the canvas through the paint, that's because my paint is a little too wet. And that is because that stiff brush, which I, which I showed you, is too wet. It can be a little bit dry. I always have some uh, piece of paper in my hand, so I can uh, wipe the paint off and get, get the brush a little bit drier when needed. You can see it does work a little bit better now. Uh, I was, uh, yes, I need something here a little bit. Much. It's probably a little too light, but I'm going to uh, glaze over it again. I'm going to make it darker because. Um, this is a little too light, that blue, but I like it because I can see the contrast between both a little bit better, so I can see my textures a little bit better that I'm making, and if I'm liking those textures, and um, like I said, the textures is, are basically the, the um, shapes I'm making with how I move my brush, and uh, sometimes I like it, sometimes you know, I don't like that that much, but I can change it very easily because uh, like I said, I can glaze over it, I can use a darker color to cover things up, but I just just uh, painting and trying uh, different things while I'm working. Like moving my brush, I don't know if you can see it, yeah, I think you can see it on that camera. Like sometimes I like to use it horizontally, sometimes, sometimes I uh, use diagonally, <laughs> my god. <laughs> Those words, I really have a hard time pronouncing them right, but I, um, yeah, so I try to, to twist my brush. I apologize for my English sometimes. I, those words are very hard, and I can laugh about it, and you may laugh, I hope you laugh about it. But I really, really try to get a better in it, but... Uh, oh, that's, I don't know why, but I, uh, that's a kind of a hard word to pronounce for me. I will work on that word and I'll try to use it next time and you can hear if I am getting better. <laughs> yes. I need to be a bit more exact on that line because I really like that light blue there. So therefore I Letting my hand rest on the canvas so I have a little bit more, more control. So it may seem a little bit funny, but yeah, I'm sorry, I need to sit like this for just for a second hmm. to get it in right. And of course, now it's too dry. Let's try it again. I don't like uh, that many brush strokes, so I keep uh, removing them quite a lot while I'm working. And as I can see it on this camera, there's quite some glare again. I hope, I hope um, it doesn't show up as much when you are watching this. Like I said in the beginning, I really have struggled uh, with my studio lamps. I have good lighting for, m for me now, but for the camera, hmm, not so good yet, I think. But yeah, we are not live, so I don't, uh, you cannot tell me it now, but I, uh, I will re-watch this, at least some parts, and uh, like I said, I try to change what uh, can, can be better, of course, and this is like I said, it's, it's, it is too light, this color, but especially for this area, because I'm going to uh, make that really dark to get it uh, that round shape, where we talked uh, in the beginning of the studio session uh, about. And, uh, but I'm just, I can glaze it, like I said, it's very easily to glaze, to change that color. And I now have that color on my palette, and I don't keep mixing up colors uh, 
as much in this this state. I'm just like I said, making the uh, creating the different textures and different shapes. Yeah, I need to dry this. There, okay. Then I will do a glaze, and I think then the time is up for this studio session because otherwise those uh, studio sessions are getting very big and that means that I have um, need much more time to upload this because it, it, my uploading is not so quick so therefore uh, yeah but uh, I will uh, be right back sorry for the noise there um, let me see what we're gonna do now. Uh, I think that blue. Like I said, I always can use some more time. Also, just during the day, I have a lot of things to do always. Spend my time very well, I think. Yeah, I can use some more. Um, Oh yeah, of course, um, try to explain what you are doing, therefore we are here. Well, I'm glazing, I just pick up uh, some paint, like you see, she do me now, and um, pick up a little bit of water and mix that in. So it's quite thin, as you can see, and uh, put some, some uh, of that on my brush, obviously, and then I'm just glazing over. If it's too thick, so if there were uh, too, too much paint on my brush, uh, it would be quite, uh, could be quite um, uh, transparent, no, uh, opaque, I'm sorry. And if uh, it was quite opaque, my details on the need would uh, disappear. So I keep this uh, quite, uh, uh, I mix it in with quite a lot of water to avoid that. And I'm just tinting the colors this way and I'm not getting rid of the texture. By texture I mean those darker and lighter portions. That means that there's something is happening in the ocean. There are uh, obviously some dark parts, some light parts, parts, and uh, so therefore I uh, I want those in there to get it a more uh, realistic feeling. So that's why I'm glazing over those areas, and this way it will give me more of a complete feeling. Not so much yet, because this is just one of the first uh, glazings that I'm doing. Uh, most of the times I glaze quite a lot. Quite a lot, it can vary between uh, 5, 6 layers to 15, sometimes 20. It doesn't matter so much to me, it just depends on how many layers I um, need. Sometimes I put in a few layers from uh, a, a color that I mixed on my palette and I'm glazing those colors in, but when I'm during the painting, during the glazing, I'm starting not to like that color as much, so I want to change it again. So therefore I have to glaze again. So therefore sometimes I use quite some glazes. But the, uh, and I talk about this also in my tutorials. In the beginning I, um, that is a lot of paint without a lot of water, so I have to change it. Um, in the beginning I'm glazing big sections of the painting of my subject. The more I get in the end stage of the painting, I start glazing little sections because I want a little adjustments on those colors, not on the whole piece because otherwise I keep messing it up and I keep uh, staying on this level, this kind of painting uh, level. So therefore I, uh, because I want to use uh, quite a lot of colors, it's also something I uh, like to talk about in my tutorials because it's very important. So therefore I need um, different glazes and um, to use uh, to glaze uh, smaller areas. I'm not losing, up changing the, the color constantly, but I leave some color and I'm uh, slowly getting different colors on the canvas, if that makes sense. If you do it, it will make sense. If you don't do it, it may still make sense, but sometimes I'm not completely sure if I'm explaining it uh, well enough, but uh, don't be afraid, just ask if I wasn't uh, very clear on uh, a particular subject or something. 
Um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it for now because, uh, like I said, time-wise. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's just because the time will. Uh, I have a lot of time. Uh, I'm sorry, I bumped to the table again. I um, painted quite a, a lot of time I'll, uh, also on the canvas. It doesn't go as quick as normally because I'm. Uh, uh, talking about what I'm doing and talking to the camera and things that come into mind. Uh, so therefore this is it for now. I think I'm going to do another studio session about this portion, but just um, um, almost finished. And I'm really thinking of uh, making the clouds on the, on the earth, uh, because that means that the earth is uh, done and that I only have to um, put, in the, the, put in those clouds. So therefore uh, you can see it a little bit more progressed and uh, but yeah, like I said, I don't have any time more for to, for now. But I think I could um, mention some, hopefully some interesting uh, things if you are a painter or artist uh, yourself. Uh, once again, if you have any suggestions or questions, please leave them in, in the comment section below. I really like trying uh, helping you out. That is how I learned, and I, I really like um, uh, sharing my techniques and my experience. So I hope. Yeah, those free, this is free, my channel is free, so if you like it, please be welcome here. And uh, once again, if you have any suggestions, maybe I can help you out. So, uh, for now, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you at one of my uh, next uh, videos. Maybe a studio session or maybe a tutorial, because this uh, painting, uh, when it's finished, I will make a normally uh, a tutorial, a normal tutorial like I usually do. So, that will be up in a few uh, weeks, I think. So uh, once again, thank you for watching and I uh, hope to see you at one of my next tutorials. Bye-bye!